I am a psychotherapist. I have a show on BH1 called Couples Therapy and also a radio show called The Love and Sex Show with Dr. Jen on Sirius XM on Cosmo Radio. So that couples therapy, does it have anything to do with animals? It does not, but actually this season we have five celebrity couples on the show and one and one of the women, uh, Courtney Stodden, is a vegan, as am I. Oh, now does having one of the, the couples or one a, port, a part of a couple being vegan cause any special problems? I, you know, it didn't cause problems, but it definitely, when it came time for dinner time, because all the couples eat together, it definitely highlighted sort of that being vegan is, is different because a lot of the couples were eating meat, but fortunately everyone was sensitive to that and they would make vegetable dishes and rice and pasta and stuff and meat, and so there were options for her as well. No, wait a minute. When you said they all sat down for dinner, so this was all the couple. This is like. Oh, yeah, all the couples, down. five celebrity couples in a house for three weeks doing intensive couples therapy, oh group therapy, God. individual therapy, family therapy. Oh, yeah. And being televised, now that's got to be an interesting yes. show. Yes, and, and I did a lot of therapy. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of therapy. So, who was your favorite therapist while you were doing this show, doing therapy with them? Who was my favorite therapist? You mean like in the media? No, no, for you personally, because well, I've always heard that a lot of times, like a psychologist needs a psychologist. Oh, you mean like my therapist? You know, during the, sh- during the show, I didn't have time for my own personal therapy, but Dr. Mike Dow is on the show with me, and I talked to him a lot. I think he and I did a lot of therapy for one another, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So for an animal to the band. Yes. What kind of therapy do you ever recommend for people to have better relations with their animals? I've actually done canine therapy in my office. I have a, a German Shepherd who I got from Westside German Shepherd Rescue, and she's actually been trained to do actual therapy. And I found that it's really fascinating that when you bring an animal into the therapy room, that people are willing to sometimes talk to that animal and say things that they might not be ready to say to a person. I remember one time I was working with someone who had been molested, and she ended up telling the dog instead of telling me. And it was her way of, of introducing the topic and it was animals are, have have can make great contributions when it comes to therapy. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad. I <laughs> never thought about it like yeah. well, they are a good you know, I have a friend who wrote her doctoral dissertation all about the use of animals in therapy. Oh my god. Yeah. Well of course if people want to catch up with you on the internet, whether it's about the show mm-hmm. or about what you do, where's the best place you to can go? find me at drgen.com, D O C T O R J E N N dot com or find me on Twitter or Facebook at Dr. Jen Berman. D-R-J-E-N-N-B-E-R-M-A-N. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.